Hello friends, welcome back to a new episode of Math for Machine Learning and today we are going to continue with our probability theory and a particular topic uh, we will consider today is conditional probability. Okay, so let us consider two separate scenarios or events okay, and uh, that will be say for example number one is uh, remember the uh, example that we took say what is the probability that you will reach from point A to point B within 45 minutes this is your scenario right now of course there can be many uh, factors that will decide whether you will be able to reach from A to B within 45 minutes or not now this is my event 1 say so, okay and let us consider another point or a different event altogether that is whether it is going to rain today or not okay whether it is going to what is the probability that it is going to rain today okay so these are the given two scenarios or events uh, in our case um, all right so now if i have to uh, represent these two events then i can uh, draw an area like this okay and i can consider this as event e1 and this as event e2 so say for example uh, i am considering these two events independent so they are not related to each other so, for example, <coughs> I am moving, I am going from A to B and say this is in New Jersey in the US, yeah. And this is either it is going to rain in California or not. I am just taking a sample example. Or consider this from going from A to A, A to B in Mumbai in India, right. And whether it is going to rain in Pune, India right say this is two different events then i'm not much concerned about right but what if what if i am in mumbai and i want to know whether i will be able to reach from a to b within 45 minutes given that i already see it is raining okay so that means my event 2 is already happening which I am uh, con uh, I am confirmed about that you know it is already raining I am sure I just want to know whether I will be able to reach my from A to B within 45 minutes or not now in this case in this case what happens is instead of looking at the entire sample or entire area I am more interested in looking into this portion here. I am more interested in this portion here. Okay. So right my right now my sample space has become this one and not just the complete area or sample space. I am not considering the entire of E1. So what I am saying here is given that E2 is already happening, that means it is already raining. So, what is my probability that I will reach from A to B within 45 minutes? That means, I am interested to know about this portion here. So, if I have to mathematically write, so I want to know what portion of my E2, so if I write it this way, if this is my probability of E2, then what portion of my E2 uh, is going to tell me that whether I will reach from A to B in 45 minutes or not and this shaded portion as we have seen earlier is given by E1 and intersection E2 and this is known as conditional probability. In our next video we are going to see an example uh, with, with the calculations and also will uh, this will lead us to something very important called Bayes theorem. So, I hope you have learned something new today and stay tuned to our channel and take care. And 